Hey, what's up? I'm Enrique, artist and illustrator. Today we're going to go over how to draw Chainsaw Man. Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw Chainsaw Man. Let's get started, okay? I'm going to go over this in two layers, uh, all right? So layer your drawings like a cake. I always say that, all right? So layer one is the shapes, and then layer two would be the drawing, okay? I'm using regular piece of paper right here, and I'm just gonna use a marker, a Sharpie on this, all right? So let me show you what I mean by simple shapes, and you're gonna be a much, much better artist for this, okay? It's way better than just start drawing it willy-nilly, all right? And let me prove it to you. So I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna start with a circle for kind of the head area. Of, and by the way, this part can be sloppy, all right? And I'm only using a marker to kind of kind of display the idea to you, so don't worry about it. Um, just kind of to kind of say that. Um, gonna go over here and a straight line here for kind of a chainsaw coming out of his head. Then curve of the front, pulling back right there. It's kind of up to you how long you want the chainsaw to be. If you want to make it look uh, kind of like a longer chainsaw, you can always like shrink down right there. See, this is the part where you can kind of do whatever you want, like as far as shapes go, uh, and you can kind of like move things around. That's what this is for. It's for positioning, really. It's for placement. So I'm gonna go right here, curve down. <coughs> Pull up over here. He's gonna got like this uh, kind of upper portion of his mouth and then the lower portion. Pull down here. <clears throat> Line down here as his teeth are kind of wedged in this area. Again, we're looking for broad shapes. He's obviously turning to the left. Down over here for the teeth area. Line. And then very, very kind of simple shape for the, for the uh, lower jaw, okay? Again, we're making this just for the under tracing. So after this, I'm gonna put another piece of paper on this so that I see the placement of stuff so that I don't have to think about placement, all right? I'm gonna kind of say this every video. This is how I do my stuff. So absolutely, I would say adopt this method. Um, a few people on YouTube are teaching this kind of thing, but I would say um, I'm, I wanna make it like the core of the stuff I teach here. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna go over here and make a circle kind of in this area. Up over here, angle back, downward kind of for the back of that chainsaw area, and I'm going to pull in here. So there's, there's kind of a few complicated shapes in there, but nothing super wild. Um, just kind of keep that in mind. Maybe throw a little extra in here and fill that in, because you're going to be looking up at him. We're going to be looking up at him a little bit, and so when, when you look up at something, you're gonna see the bottom of it, okay? So let's go over quick perspective really fast, all right? So if we're thinking of something like, let me see, do I have a box over here? All right, let me see. I should have actually thought of the example before uh, I did that. Okay, so let's look at something like this. All right, this is the closest thing I have to a box on my desk. It's those things that you do when you, don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's something you do to like work out your forearms, right? Okay, I got a better idea. This one, this is a light. So if we're looking at it flat, like this, so we're taking a little break, look at it completely flat. It should be flat to the screen, okay? If we were below this thing right here, it would look kind of like this. See how all of a sudden you're seeing the bottom of it right there, this portion right here? You're seeing the bottom of that. And if vice versa, the other way around right here, you're seeing the top. I mean, what we're pretty much defining as the top, right? Because this is kind of the same. It's like a cylindrical dot. But as something turns, you're seeing it. So chainsaw heads is uh, like side view right here where you can't really see anything, but his head is doing this a little bit. Like see that? A little bit like this. And that would be this right here. You can see a little bit of dark because we're looking up his chin a little bit. See that that would represent this part. Does that make sense? So he's not flat. He's angling his head and all of a sudden you can see this area. Okay. Hopefully, that applies to everything, like everything that you draw. So just something to teach you because that's going to upgrade your drawing right off the bat. So if you don't understand that, message me, literally message me and, and I'll describe it better. I'll make a whole video about it, but it's super important. That's going to upgrade your art skills just knowing that, okay? Because most people don't know that when they start drawing. 
downward here, pull in. If you do know it, good job, awesome. There's like a handle in the back, right, for kind of the uh, <clears throat> the chainsaw. I was gonna say lawnmower. Pulling down here in the neck area. Right here, the neck, it's made up of a bunch of wires, but we'll get to that. And there's a bunch of gears down here. Maybe we'll pull this forward a little bit. See, that's a cool part about this segment. We can move stuff around a little bit to kind of suit the placement. Um, hopefully, th this is something I'm trying to gear my channel into, is to really teach you how to know how to draw, right? It's better to know this stuff, because then you remember it, and you can draw way more, like later, way better. Let's do kind of a, uh, almost like a box shape right here for the actual collar. And then we're going to go back here to, I don't know, the far side collar. So it's going to make another square shape like that, right? And you have the neck on this side. Downward over here for the shirt. He's got like a top of a tie, but we're barely going to see this stuff, honestly. Shoulder, kind of a box for the shoulder there. Line over here. Okay, that is the basic structure I'm going to work with. Now I'm going to grab this piece of paper. Remember, this is printer paper, okay? Printer paper and put another printer paper above it. Regular stuff. You can buy the stuff at like anywhere, right? Office Depot, Walmart, Amazon, wherever you're living, regular paper. And now I put it over and when I look at this, I can see through it. You can't because it's on the screen and I'm going to lighten it up, you know, just for, um, you know, the purposes of aesthetics. But now I don't have to worry about where stuff is placed anymore. Does that make sense? I don't have to worry about that. I can see through a little bit. I can tell the, you know, the mask is over here. That I mean, the top of the lawnmower area. I can tell where that stuff is. So now I can, it frees my mind up to focus on details on the next step. And you can do this over and over. You can do like three or four, like you can do another drawing. You're like, ah, it's not enough details. Put another layer. And, and I would say layer your drawings like you're layering a cake. Okay, that'll be my catchphrase. I'm going to say it over and over. So right here, I'm going to go down. Pretty much put the same shape I was doing, but now I'm gonna add a little bit more. There's kind of a zigzag shape right here. Zigzag in, out, in, out. Okay. Flat line across, that line is the same. But see that I added those zigzags in. Gonna pull down, curve around the corner here because you're seeing the bottom of that. I think I drew that in there, right? I can, I can see that. Yeah, I drew that in there. <clears throat> gonna go down here and I, I can see the little space here I made for the teeth so I'm gonna throw that'll be my first tooth right there right and I'm gonna go down and draw that thing like pins and needles right there it's gonna look like nails really long triangular shapes don't forget to subscribe if you learn uh, if, sorry if you Hit the subscribe. Hopefully you're learning something. Uh, if you if you subscribe, uh, there's gonna be a lot more of this kind of stuff. So don't forget to do that. Uh, I post videos every day. Uh, yeah, definitely do that. Uh, you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like it. Uh, there's no loss in it. But uh, yeah, I'll take you guys to the next level. Okay, gonna go over here. Curve that over there for the front. All right. <sighs> I'm going to throw a curve right here, thin curve. I'm going to throw a thin line, okay? I, I'm meaning I'm not going to put as much weight onto this marker. It's kind of hard to do it with a Sharpie because, right, that's just uh, the way it is, the, the nature of this Sharpie. I would do this more with like a pen, but I'm doing this for demonstration, so I would use a pen, but you can also use a marker, uh, a Sharpie. Going to go right here, and there's these thick open lines right here, kind of like for the eye area. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push my line a little thicker. Quite a bit thicker right there. And there's maybe like four lines. Thicker. It's kind of the design of the, uh, I keep trying to say lawnmower. <laughs> it's the line of the, um, it, I'm keep trying to push that for the line of the chainsaw face. I'm gonna go over here, draw the bottom teeth. Okay. Right here, line across for the bottom row of teeth. Downward, it's just like a long square. Going to go over here and I'm going to throw those nails upward. Same shape right there. Upward. Right there. Okay. Right on. I'm going to go over here. I have, I see that shape underneath. It's for that chin shape. You can always adjust it too. You don't have to be a slave to what, you know, like that. You can always move it a little bit where you're like, oh, I want it to be a little bit thinner. 
right? You can do your own version of, you can do this with your own characters. That's actually how I teach people to draw their own characters is they do a layer, let's say like a body layer, and then you just go on it with different outfits and you keep making different layers. Um, I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna pull another line kind of around this area here, line up over here. Hey, let's take a quick, quick little break, okay? Little break. Um, I really want to push the idea of working in layers. This is what professional illustrators do. This is what I do. This is what almost everyone I know, all my peers do when they do professional style illustrations. You work in shapes first, then you put in details later, usually many layers of detail. Uh, but if you do this, you are going to create better drawings than you've ever created in your life because you're not fragmenting your mind and your thoughts and your uh, kind of effort into a bunch of different things at once. You kind of compartmentalize, okay? I do want to emphasize that. I know I said it in the video, but I really want to push how important that is, okay? That's it, let's go back to the video uninterrupted from now on, let's do it. All right, and there's actually a handle I missed up here, forgive me, so I would actually throw like another like square shape right there. There's another handle, you know, cause when you hold a chainsaw, there's like that handle up there. So I would draw it up right here. Curve, go over here, pull down, curve underneath. Alrighty. And then they have an assortment of different shapes right here. I'll be honest, it's a little complicated, but we're gonna kind of try to trek through it together. Uh, this kind of area uh, is, is, okay? So, let's just jump right into it, okay? Curve right here, he has kind of an axle that kind of curves in, but he has a lot of different stuff up here. And we're gonna simplify it kinda, not really, kinda. Line up, pull out, okay? Because there is a box shape right here I drew, yeah. Up over here, pulling in. Another bit of a box shape right there, and that's gonna run into a curve. So this is again where we're kinda getting a little complicated. It's gonna butt out a little bit right there. Curve up, line up, pull in and line up. See that, this area right here is gonna be a little complex and it could also be subjective. You can kinda of move it around, but I do notice that there is a circle in the center of that. Another circle right there, just inside of that. Curve around here, out, out. Curve along this side. It's like this knob that pushes out. Right, that's in the center of that. We're gonna pull out over here, curve, kind of in that area, kind of meets with that. Line down here, up, maybe a square, and it's gonna just kind of pull up in this area, this part again. Pulling out, we have another curve in this area. Forgive me if this is too difficult, but um, absolutely, if you need to pause this, pause it. And that's going to connect down here. This is the hardest part of the whole drawing, okay? Forgive me. Line, line. Going to go downward. We're looking at the bottom of this kind of square shape. Pull down. Go over here. Downward. And we're going to have these kind of ribbit shapes back here. We're going to split that. And then we're going to chop those up into three. One, two. Right there. One, two, around the corner. We're gonna have a knob that comes out of here for the other handle. That's mostly the important part. This part's okay. The important part is the handle. So from there, it's gonna go up, downward, downward. Cause he's he's turning his head that way, remember? He's turning his head uh, like we had in the, uh, the little shape there, which I lost. Same thing goes for this down here. We're gonna see, this is gonna be pretty much for our drawing, we can fill it in black because we're looking up at this and it's catching a uh, shadow. I would say you could do the same thing over here for the handle. Alrighty. And then we have the handle that's coming out of here into this. So out, down, in, out, down, in. Pull up. 
pulling down for the neck. I'm gonna find my collar there. I can kind of see it down. The collar is gonna be more or less the same shape over here. Make it maybe like that little that little curve right there makes it a little bit more organic. Um, and then now the neck, which is literally gonna be wires. So pull the line down, down. It's like spaghettios, pretty much. Curve over here. Pull down. Pull down here. I'll be honest, this might take a bit, so just kind of, maybe you can find the bottom of this area. Right there, I'm sorry I missed that area, the bottom of the neck. You're gonna have to draw spaghettios, just keeping the uh, general shape of the neck though. See how it's just generally shaped like a neck? You gotta keep that in mind though, or else it could get out of control. Line over here. Line over here. Right there, and we're kind of filling this stuff in. Don't forget to share the video, by the way. I'm just throwing, see, I'm just throwing this as far as I'm remembering the flow, for the most part. You don't have to remember every line, just remember the flow. Okay, so now you got the flow of this like wired neck right there. Gonna go over here to the far end, down, up, downward over here, curve, line over here top of a tie remember this is going off the page honestly so it's not even gonna matter pulling up here pulling up here for the tie on this side and then you know, the tie is just again it's going underneath the collar right if you've ever done a tie before um, I used to have to wear a tie every day for school shoulder making a little bit organic right maybe not making it totally straight out over here down zigzag over here because the, there's a there's a basically when you wear a shirt it's kind of sewn at the top so you might get that. Then maybe a little bit of a, the, the shirt going off. You can even do the, the line over here too. So, all right, let's go to the most important part. What's missing? Nothing, right? Nothing's missing? I'm joking. The chainsaw is missing. So let's go over here and try to draw that shape as straight as we can. I'm gonna start over here from the curve. Remember, we made that shape thinner. So just something to take into account. And I'm gonna make it from here to here. If you have a hard time drawing a straight line, um, that's completely fine. Just take it slow. You don't have to do it all at once, all right? Take it slow right here. I'm gonna and I'm gonna make it about this area. And so I'm gonna like like we can do it in chapters. See, a little bit. Boom. Let's just go take lunch. Let's hang out, right? You don't have to do it all at once, right? Uh, you don't have to do it all at once. Go over here. Kind of going blind there. All right, there we go. Because my own hand was blocking me, right? So we have that. That's our overall shape. I'm going to go on the inside of that and make another line because we have a moving chain right there. So I'm, I have to do literally the exact same shape, but on the inside. Right there. Definitely give the video a like. Uh, it helps the channel a lot. Cool, cool. And now along this, we're gonna draw, that's the easy part, right? Just like line right here every couple of feet, whatever, every couple of inches here, or centimeters, whatever. It's gonna make it look like a chain. Okay, good, good so far. All right, now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna draw the spikes in the chainsaw. So the spikes are kind of like angled spikes. Every, honestly, you can do it every one of these. That's kind of what this has, but you can, you can, you know, that, that's kind of generally the character. You can do one per chain, right? That that's that would be more accurate, but you don't have to be that accurate with something like this. If you get it close enough, you get the impression. No one's gonna go, oh, wow, what? That, that doesn't match the chain, right? No one's gonna do that, unless they're really, really, really nitpicking, right? So you don't have to do that. Let 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 you know. Like let's let's skip one there. Nah, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Just make it proportional, and it'll be all good. You just want the impression of the character. Uh, you don't want like every technicality. Like this gives you the impression of the character. If you want, we can throw the other shape in there. Um, you can throw a little robot shape, but for the most part, we can fill in this dark area in here as well. And the pull line, fill in dark here. Right, we can add a few more darks, maybe kind of in the uh, 
I don't know, like under the neck over here, we can fill that in, because that's a, that's a dark area anyway, like the actual part of that is dark. Right here, around the, the, the mouth, in the innards of the mouth, that can definitely help. Um, you don't have to, though. Most of the darks are kind of around this jaw area, and then behind the jaw over here. You know, line over here. And you can kind of just add them at your will now right here because we're looking underneath. We're going to see underneath a lot of engineering, you know, shapes. I mean, a lot of uh, automotive shapes will probably look automotive. Why am I saying mechanical shapes? Sorry. We're going to be looking underneath a lot of stuff. So, but like I said, don't feel like you need to be completely accurate with this kind of stuff. Just as long, again, if you get the impression of it. I hope this helped you out. If it did, absolutely uh, say it, you know, in the description. And also check out the main website and the courses I have. I have courses on Skillshare. Uh, if you go to the link below, uh, go check out the full-blown courses on anatomy, on, on, um, on watercolor. I have the, how to draw the face. I have all that stuff there. Go take a look at that if you enjoy this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you really want to learn how to draw, uh, stick around. I'm going to do a lot more here or, or check out the courses or check out sketchingeasy.com. That's where I'm going to post uh, full-blown courses as well. Not currently, but uh, I'm going to post some maybe later. I'll do another circle here. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. All right. Have fun. You're amazing. And I want you to have a great time. Well, let's do one more thing as a bonus. You can draw the, the, the blood on here. So we can do it with a thin line. Like thin. Make sure it's thin. Put very little weight on it. Just put some raspberry jam right there, right? And you can make it just rando shapes. That's the kind of good part about this part. This is almost like the reward, you know, you can just do these rando shapes with no judgment at all. Not that you have to be judged for anything in drawing, okay? That's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, okay? Stay positive, and you can definitely do this. Talk to you later.